So quite a bit of speed running has to do with not taking the intended path or what the game wants you to do. Case in point here, just pick one of these two columns and jump across. By the way, make sure you stick around all the way until the very end of this video. For now, come around this corner, ready up your sniper for this gargoyle, take out this soldier, these two imps, and ready up your sniper again for this soldier. Sticky one gargoyle, frag grenade to cover your bases, sticky the caco, or we kill the caco, headshot and sticky bomb the remaining zombies. Then taunt the hell knight as you make your escape. When you come down this elevator, I like to jump and turn sideways down this hole. Then spam jump using mouse wheel down at exactly the right time as you can see. Doom guy will fly forward faster than you can normally walk or dash. Head on over and grab the air control rune. I'm pretty sure like everyone gets this first. You're welcome to try anything you want. However, I haven't really experimented with getting other runes first. I recommend getting rid of these three soldiers. It's required to move on and I usually have better luck defeating them from up here. Jump down and delete the Hell Knight. Toss a frag grenade, ready a precision bolt, throw a sticky, and finish off with blood punch. Oh, you're still alive? Moving on, ready up your sniper for this gargoyle, take out his buddy, take out the imp while strafing the Kako Demon's fireballs, then sticky and glory kill the Kako. Oops, I almost fell. Alright, approaching this next arena, not gonna lie, I find it both faster and safer to take pot shots on these groups of enemies while they haven't noticed you. So immediately head left, sticky grenade, glory kill the first Kako. Keep moving counterclockwise and do the same thing on the second Kako demon. Fire off three sticky bombs towards this red door and go ahead and get your chainsaw ready for this arachnid. We're not gonna even give him a chance to move. All right, this room's done. Let's move on. All right, here's another great example of not doing exactly what the game intends for you to do. We're gonna skillfully jump up this wall. It's not really a b-hop, just regular old jumps. And catch a ride on top of this spinny thing. Punch the chains from the back because we can. <laughs> it's totally unnecessary. And jump down and grab the dash ability. Wow, what a game changer. I mean, this is a speed run. All right, don't forget to take in the beautiful painted glass as we come down. I like to pop this barrel so I don't become its innocent bystander during the crossfire later. Toss a grenade onto this platform, fire a quick precision bolt, swap to stickies and unload all three. Sticky bomb and glory kill the Kako demon, then rinse and repeat our Hell Knight deletion method on this guy. He always tries to jump up and surprise you on this bridge. Finish off whatever trash is left in the arena and move on. This sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Several modules remain on you. All right, we're gonna pick up the plasma rifle. Look left and take out some fodder. Switch to stickies and prep for the revenant. Shoot all three stickies onto the revenant's rockets. Finish out the fodder. Ready up your sniper for this gargoyle. He's always up there and always a pain. Go down the stairs and there will be two zombies. Use them for armor refill if you like. Just make sure you kill them. And remember how we route chainsaw fuel in the first level? Make sure this chainsaw fuel is your second pip. That's really important for the next big fight. Move forward and use our Hell Knight deletion method, which you should be pretty good at by now. Quick snipe and sticky some fodder. Put our Kako Demon friend here into glory kill state. By now you know how to do that. Use the time he's in glory kill state to finish out whatever soldiers and imps you see. Then jump on down and the door should be open to let you move forward. So I definitely recommend learning this skip. It's pretty easy and you don't have to worry about walking around in the purple goo. My inputs for getting up that ledge reliably is jump, dash, dash, jump. Seems to work almost every time. So here we'll pick up our next mod, which I believe most runners would agree to get the heat blast for your plasma rifle. One time I got the microwave beam by accident and it was a really good run up to that point until I ruined it by getting microwave beam. All right, let's jump on over to this wall. Look up at the pillar, 
column thing and jump out. You should grab onto some rocks and be able to jump up from there. Another great example of skipping the intended route to save a few seconds. Jump down, grab this monkey bar, turn around, and dash over to the wall behind you. Again, skipping some unnecessary platforming. Alright, as you wait for these doors to open, you gotta do something. I recommend charging up your heat blast on your plasma rifle. And remember how we left the last room with two chainsaw pips? Well, that's about to come into play. I'll let you go ahead and take out this arachnid's turret from up here where it's safe. Then jump on top of the revenant, take him out. Then switch back to the arachnid and finish him off. Alright, if you're like me, you get tired of being chased around the entire arena by this Hell Knight. So let's go over and grab our third fuel canister and quickly use the chainsaw on the Hell Knight. Which is pretty nice because we're probably low at ammo at this point. Turn to face the Kako, remove him from existence with our sticky bomb glory kill formula, delete two more arachnids, and I like to finish this arena uh, by this door we'll be exiting through. Just ready up your sniper and take out any imps and gargoyles that you see running around trying to escape. So I want to show you a pretty cool trick. I use my macro to jump up this tentacle thing, this prop here, um, which I'm pretty sure you can just kind of like spam jump and get up. It's not really like a, a set thing how it works. It just kind of works sometimes. So here's the dash boost. Face the vines and dash. Hold back and grab the ledge. It's a nice trick to know and it's not very hard to do, and we'll be using it quite a bit later on in the level. We're gonna take out these three zombies here, uh, Sniper, the two soldiers, Put a sticky on this imp, use your heat blast to take out this group here. Take care of the Kako Demon. Then sticky the last two zombies who should be hanging out down here in the purple goo. And we should be done. So I actually missed that ledge right there. If you do it right, you can jump up and avoid the purple stuff, but you can still get a good run without it. Just proceed as normal. Alright, come on over this way, use our dash boost that we learned before, strafe to the left just a little bit, and you should be able to just grab that ledge up there. Don't forget to animation cancel when you grab the battery, and move on. So 
So as far as the upgrade path for the crystals go, I highly recommend the top row of upgrades. The ammo ones are typically routed for late game, but early on it helps to have both the skills on the top row uh, for safety. To get back up, we're not gonna walk around the purple goo. We're just gonna go into the corner here and spam, dash, and jump until you leap up. I like to go ahead and take out this turret uh, for safety, but either way, just jump down and climb onto that broken pillar there, jump over and just keep running down the intended path. All right, so this level is all about dash boosting. Uh, see that body on that stick over there against the wall? Just to the right of it, you're gonna do a dash boost. Once you've done your dash boost, strafe right to avoid the ceiling, and you should be able to grab that ledge over there, skipping an entire cutscene. All right, so right here, uh, turn left and jump to this platform. You get to skip a few of those floating ledge things. And as promised, we're about to trivialize the final fight in this level. In preparation, have a heat blast, mostly charged, and we'll use plasma with our quad damage pickup once we get down there. All right, jump on down, take this airlift up, go ahead and pick up your quad damage and start the leading enemies take out the arachnid, go into the teleporter, use your full heat blast, go back to the teleporter and try to quick snipe the revenant. But if you're like me, you miss. Just go to plan B. Chase him down and just frag and blast him with plasma. Go back up the stairs and use what quad damage you have left to finish off the Kako Neiman. Don't glory kill it, it's too slow, you'll waste the quad damage. All right, and go ahead and take out this final arachnid. He's gonna jump up where that first one was. So just finish out the trash from here and gonna jump on over to the, where the portal is that we leave the level in. Just snipe whatever's left alive and you should be good to go. As you can see, we're on pace to beat this level in around 12 minutes, which is actually pretty good. All right, thanks so much for sticking around. Don't forget to comment below if you found this video helpful. See you in the next level.